Hello everyone, I'm Andrew and welcome to the Truth Hurts channel. Today I'm going to be discussing Red Flag number 363, Narcissist Sexual Track Records. I'm not bitter, I'm hurt. Big difference. What I do is self-therapy to heal myself, document my recovery, and at the same time try to help those in my position or give insight to the unsuspecting so my experience doesn't happen to them. Beware people with this mindset. I would have gotten rid of any man that wasn't having sex with me in two or three days. I gotta have it. This is the individual that encouraged the infidelity of my second book. Many women has lost a good man because they took the advice of their lonely ass friend. I told you before, I enjoy making love at least two to three times a week. I will even take two times a week. Some women get so much attention, and if she's highly attracted to whom I was given the attention, she'll give in. Sexual people are not loyal people. That's why they're always single. The moment they don't get sex, they will sabotage the relationship and fuck someone else. Trust me on this. The time will come when you will not allow them to touch you because they don't respect you. You'll cease having sex to get their attention because there's a problem that needs to be addressed. But instead of giving the attention to you, they'll give it to someone else because they don't care to rectify the situation. I'm a very sexual person. He'd rather be on Facebook than to fuck me. But that's okay. I found someone else to take care of that. People hate the terminology fuck, thinking it's cursing. But that's the hard reality of the situation. When your not cheated on you, do you really believe they were making love to the person? Making love is when two people share intimate feelings. And the actions becomes the physical expression of the word. This is what the consummation of a marriage is all about. Fucking is a man's erect penis rapidly thrusting back and forth in a woman's vagina. No emotions are needed because the actions generates instant gratification sensations. Thus the saying. Not every woman that opens up her legs means she loves you. Narcs don't make love. They fuck. That's why the word is so vulgar. They will leave from being the only one to one of many. If you attempt to replace the word fuck with a softer word like sex, cheated, etc. You are diminishing the gravity of the situation. This is how anybody, someone can fuck anybody. And this is how threesomes and orgies initiate. Do you really believe people making love during threesomes and orgies? Nymphomaniac. A person who has abnormally excessive and uncontrollable sexual desire. These are the people that are always in search of a bigger dick. Or good pussy. This is the reason narcs cannot love because they are emotionless people. During sex, they don't bond, they attach, which is why they are referred to as parasites. When a parasite finishes sucking its host dry, it goes to another host. This is what you call. A cycle. It's always reoccurring, repeating itself. <laughs> That's the life of an arc. Now, because the arc is not paying attention, you will find their sexual history track record is within the hundreds. Please watch Red Flag number 113, The Horse Behavior of a Narcissist, to see how that's possible. Once people hear the word hundreds, they find it hard to believe. Wake up! 
Now what's all this got to do with you? People who are focused on sex will never be faithful to you. My mother was always fearful that when she leaves this world, I would have no one to bring me a glass of water if I was bedridden. My monster arguing with my best friend. You trying to tell me you can't help Andrew with his sleep apnea and nudge him to wake up when he stops breathing and you claim to love this man? I help people all day long. I don't want to come home and have to take care of someone. Red flag. Anyone that's not willing to support you when you are sick, run! The purpose of a relationship is to grow old together and to have someone there in your time of need. That's kind of dark when you think about it. The person who claims to love you can't be bothered with you when you're sick. My best friend was like, wow, this is not the woman for Andrew. She chose to marry my boy for better or for worse. If worse comes to this woman, Andrew would die. She's clearly not showing she doesn't have his back, which is the duty of a mate. <laughs> to prove his thoughts accurate, he asked the monster a hypothetical question. What if during that car crash, Andrew was crippled or bedridden? Would you have taken care of him? Lilith remains as silent, remains silent with her answer as she was silent listening to the question. Sometimes silence speaks louder than words. Red flag! A person's silence during questioning Emmett's fault. Run. 1A. Married woman of 10 years has medical complications. She had to go to the next state for her medical procedures. Her husband will visit her on weekends and spend time with her in a hotel. When surgery took place, they inserted something into her uterus that prevents her from having sex. Husband stopped visiting her. Red flag! Anyone that's not willing to support you when you are sick, run! Two, people with strong sexual histories have diseases and don't mind giving it to you. I think we can all agree that Charlie lived life to its fullest and, and gave it everything he had. Gave me herpes. <laughs> Chlamydia. Award. Blah, blah, blah. Why can't we see the body? <laughs> yeah, I didn't come all this way to spit on a closed coffin. To quote my monster. No, herpes after a while affects the lower back. Therefore, it doesn't erupt in the vagina at all. That's why many can get away without announcing or exposing it. Can you believe this came out the mouth of a registered nurse? Sociopaths. These are the narcs that kill. Jason Roger Pope, a racist white man, had HIV and only targeted black women and fucked 600 of them. Unnamed 19 year old. Kenyan woman sleeps with 586 men and deliberately infected 324 with HIV. The girl whose identity has remained anonymous is from Nakuru, Kenya, and she has confessed to infecting 324 men with HIV so far. 
Oh yeah, she's not done yet. As a matter of fact, she's given herself the goal of infecting up to 2,000 men. All this was posted in her confession on the Kenya Scandals Facebook page. Not to get off topic here, but a Kenya Scandals Facebook page? Really? On the Facebook post, she revealed how she contracted HIV from a man that she had met at a party. She explained how she went out partying with some of her senior student friends, and after the club, they headed over to a hotel party. Well, it must have been some party, because the next day, she woke up beside a strange man. The man's name is Javan. She had asked him if they did indeed have sex and he said yes. When she asked him if they used protection, he also said yes. But when in the shower, she had discovered that there was semen near her private area. She wrote how she wanted to commit suicide or feared that she may be pregnant or worse, have contracted the HIV virus. Soon after, she got tested and she was indeed HIV positive. She says, My future is ruined now, and somehow someone has to pay for it. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Question though, what if it wasn't even this guy? If she's being sexually active, is it not possible that maybe she contracted it from another part? The woman blames all men for what happened to her and wants them to share in her suffering. Narcissist. A person that lacks empathy and remorse, thus they can do anything to you and not feel bad about it and laughs at your pain. If you don't pay attention to their track records, you will be the next victim. What one man said about my monster applies to both situations I just mentioned. The average nigga would be drooling over her only to find out she's poisoned. Life lesson learned. The more people you fuck, the sooner you find yourself by yourself. The truth hurts.